Hi. Hi everyone, welcome back to those two Brits. We're Joel and Leah, if you don't already know, and we take you around amazing places. Where are we yeah. today? Oh, if you couldn't already tell, if you don't know what this building is behind us, we are at Blenheim Palace today, and we are so excited. This is our first series back since the Brighton series about a year ago, so we're so excited. Okay, I'm gonna jump down from this stone. Okay. Oh, parkour. Oh my god, parkour. <laughs> um, today we're going to do a little explore around the state rooms. And yes. then also there's a special Winston Churchill exhibition yeah. going on. So we're excited to go and yeah. have a look around that as well. Because this is where Winston Churchill was born. But yeah, we're going to go do the indoors. And then in another vlog, we'll show you the, the outdoors. outdoors. So apparently the tour of the inside is literally just that bit there. So all of this bit goes unseen, which is absolutely crazy. What are we doing now, Leah? Um, we're just with Kimberly and Kimberly's checking us in for the two o'clock tour of where are we going? You're doing the palace and the state rooms. Ooh. Okay, excellent. And we're coming here as people that don't really know much about the palace. So we're You're find in good out hands. Yes, yeah. we know a few things about the palace. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we love that. How long have you been working here? Uh, you're looking at me going on two months. Oh, wow. Well, actually, I just came from the States. Turns oh, really? out my nation went insane. Yeah. So I came over in October and yeah. I started working here in May. Amazing. Love it. That's so had you been here before? Or did I you know you want how to? This worked out. <laughs> yeah, I I got my right to work, my residency on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yes. I thought, let's see, because I came with a business idea, nothing like a pandemic that makes you want to pump the brakes and yeah. spend in your money. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought maybe I still could work. How about where did I visit that I love? Oh wow. So got my residency on a Wednesday, put in an application on a Thursday, had an interview on a Sunday, started working on a Tuesday. Wow. Wow. Pretty much feel like I'm supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. smashing it. Really that is amazing. Yeah, you're much better than the rest. <laughs> <laughs> we're just queuing up now mm. and we're about to go in in a group of about like eight or nine. And as far as we're aware, we're just going to be shown around a little bit and then we're going to be left to go roam by mm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if you do come in there, that'll be what you're in for. Yeah. So we're now inside the corridors mm. and what I can't believe is that there's still a family living down there. Yeah. So the existing... So as you look at the palace, the yeah. one on the left, so the east wing, is still inhabited by the family. Yeah. And it's the west wing that's open to the public. Isn't that crazy? Imagine like your house just being a tourism spot. It's so <laughs> just funny. crazy, I can't imagine that. Just having a little look at all the teas. There's plenty of tea sets in this house. You'd absolutely never ever run out of um, afternoon tea gear. It just goes on and on. Wow, nice crockery in here. I wonder if any of these have ever been used. I think they must have been used. Does this table remind anyone else of that scene in Bridgerton where um, Simon and Daphne have like a date at one end of the table, like a dinner, and then she scooches up and sits next to him at the top. That's what I that's what I got looking at that. So yeah. I think this is the library. There are books. Wow. Queen Anne, I thought that was Queen Victoria. So Joel, imagine before the internet, this was people's internet, like these books were yeah, where you get all your info. Now we've got Google. Wikipedia, like they have encyclopedias. Yeah, imagine telling someone from that time that all of this would become redundant. Yeah. They'd never believe you. But isn't it so beautiful? I love, if anyone knows knows me, they Joel know I love book. antique books. Yeah. So good, I, I wish I had a collection like this. Oh my gosh. I wonder if anyone actually reads them to this day, like people who work here, maybe the people that still live here, if they actually read these or if they just leave them. Yeah, because also there's like ways, there's a special way of reading books like this because every time there's an update, like there's a certain way of, do you know what I mean? Like indexing like the and, all, yeah, yeah. and all of that. Mm. Like, it's just a, it's a lost art form, guys. It is, it is. So apparently once a year, all 10,000 books in this library, it's called the Long Library, are removed from the shelves and dusted, and they use little brushes and they use vacuums with a very low suction power. But imagine that being your job, being like, oh my gosh, we've got to clean 10,000 books. <laughs> not for me, not for me. This is the view from the library.
this would be perfect for us to do our meetings. I'd be there on my laptop yeah. and you'd be there on the chaise long having a nap because you have a migraine. <laughs> so they have various exhibitions on throughout the year and this is the Cecil Beaton exhibition and he loved theatre and I think he was a bit of a costume designer as well so there's yes. photos, well not photos but drawings of his costumes and just in general drawings of his passion for theatre. Yeah I just saw a little thing saying he won awards for mm -hmm. like My Fair Lady designing the costumes but it's pretty amazing cool. really. And I think he's it's photographed loads of celebrities. Yeah. We're about to go and look at a picture of um, Miss Wallace Simpson that was taken taken by Cecil Beaton and she's quite a risque character yeah. so I think it's a never seen before oh it's a rare portrait so let's go see it and we'll show you our first reaction quite The only difference between this family and your family is that this family, I've got loads of pictures of themselves That's true, in portrait and mode I'd love to know who my family were but in case yeah. they just didn't do that. You didn't keep track didn't of them. Didn't have track of it and didn't have the, because they're like in a little village. Oh dear, look, oh look, there's the queen in when she was younger. She looks bomber. What does that mean? Just beautiful. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's, that's probably Wallace Simpson. Yeah, that's Wallace Isn't Simpson it? and that's, um, the, that's the uh, king who abdicated. 100% it's got to be. So this was the never seen before portraits, I think, of um, Wallace Simpson as part of the Cecil Beaton exhibition. And this one as well, where Wallace looks very sad. This is such a quote, like we love that, don't we? Perhaps the world's second worst crime is boredom. The first is being a bore. Oh, we hate well, people I boring. Hate to be boring. I was boring myself in the car earlier and I was really concerned. <laughs> there he is, the man himself. I'm actually in the market for some sofas at the moment. <laughs> I actually am though. <laughs> and what would be your thoughts on having those in your house? I think that one's a no. I that quite like this one. Could work. It could work with other plain furniture. That could look really quite nice. Good. I'm not going to sit on it. You're not allowed. So this is the current family that live here, like we were saying in the East Wing. And this is some of their personal photographs. Do you know what's crazy, Joel? I know it's not crazy, but it's crazy to me. It's like... Of course families don't die out, like, yeah. or someone is a descendant of, yeah. you know, Like Churchill these people family. are related to Those him people. and her. Look, yeah. that's the modern, I think that's the current, is it? John the 10th Duke of Marlborough. I could be John wrong, but Duke. he's oh, like a more a modern one. I think it might be him. Can't be him. Really? Maybe. No way, it's going to be super old, unless they... <laughs> I don't know if we're being silly here. <laughs> So this corridor is normally another room, but they're currently redoing and restoring some tapestries and the roof and the ceiling in there. So they've made it into <laughs> a little corridor. They've done this so well. Oh, yeah. This is not a real wall, by the way. This is like what they've put up. It's fake. This isn't very even real. It's, it's not a real painting. Amazing. Oh, wow. Big fireplace. See a statue of Leah Hasakis. Let's have a look at the Churchill exhibition indeed. And actually, I think what we did there was we missed out on the hottest part of the day, which is good because we were oh, boiling. We were sweating. So I swear we had heat stroke. We did, we actually did. So now, exit and to the Churchill exhibition. Now, Joel, this isn't our afternoon tea. This is what Churchill would have done for his breakfast table. So Love he it. At 7.30, wearing yeah. his dressing gown. We wear our dressing gowns. Yeah. He'd come down and take breakfast in this room. Well, not in this actual room, but we yeah. yeah. So you have a full English breakfast and a pot of hot tea and he always smokes a cigar after breakfast. Wow. Wow, I wonder how long that takes him. Yeah, so he reads his newspapers, keeps up with his correspondence. Wow, that is amazing, I love it. That's amazing. Isn't it mental that she actually used these and when <gasps> she was using them, Lady Randolph Churchill, yeah. she didn't know that they would be on display in a museum one day. And I can see some of her DNA. Come in. I can see a very small hair. Oh a brown God. hair just there. I wonder if it's hers or if someone it must you know, be. just done that. She had no idea. Oh. 
to look. If you want to see Winston Churchill's hair, these are his curls from when he was five years old. Beautiful baby. Oh. Who'd have thought what he'd turn into? He'd turn into that over there. I think this must be a prop, because if this was actually his prop, then they wouldn't have to touch it. Hmm. This is a quote said by Winston Churchill. Yeah. My idea of a good dinner is to discuss good food, and after this good food has been discussed, to discuss a good topic with myself, the chief cons conversationalist. What? He wants to have a good conversation with himself? I don't think you and I would get on, Winston. No. Because our favourite topic is ourselves. <laughs> something interesting I've just learned a fact Go on. guess what Churchill invented I don't know the romper Shut you are inspired up. by Winston Churchill What's come it? come look at this so this is called a siren suit and oh. Churchill invented it as some leisure wear so when the sirens would go off and everyone would run to the bomb shelter they'd chuck on their siren suit also known as a romper also referred to as romper suits and he played a large part in popularizing it as an item of clothing. So basically you're inspired by Churchill. I take it all back. I think we would have got on very well. <laughs> you are a fashion icon. Yeah. So guys, if you're American, you'll love this. This is his American passport because apparently he had, did you know Winston had honorary citizenship in no, the US? I, I didn't did either. This is his passport. Wow. So cool. I didn't know that you could get that. I thought you just had to have like dual citizenship. Yeah. You can get anything if you're somebody. You can't mm, you can. Well, he was awarded it by JFK apparently. Do you want to meet him? Yeah. I think you'd get along very well. Oh my goodness. I thought he was, wow. That's insane. I'll come in the shop. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's how smart no one's here. We met Winston. Wow. Wow. He's quite short. You two look great together. <laughs> God, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. no. I mean, lovely, gents, but no, I can imagine. Just imagine it. Joel and I once did a video on um, currency. Yeah, we did. And here's some old pennies from the UK. Gosh, half a penny, a penny, a farthing. I always wondered what a farthing was. Right. Hello. Or pink. Or pink or none, or just white. I quite like the pink, you know. Yellow's pink. nice as well, but, but I like the more pink. Yeah, well. it says Barbara on it. Yeah, I do like that. Well, that's a bit of me. Yeah. All of these, they smell amazing. I smell them through the mask. Yeah. I really like the jasmine peach. Mm. Yeah, I love that. I love that for me. This is a tester of some really posh hand sanitizer. Okay. Oh wow. Lovely. That's lovely. Look at this crockery. You can buy a bowl wow. for 280 pounds. Premium tea blend, little cake stand, although we like the three tier. Yeah, we, we prefer three tier. I really like this. That would be perfect for gin. 55 pounds though. So something, a little tip for you guys if you come here, you can basically give yourself a tour of the palace by using your phone to scan this and using the palace Wi-Fi as well, you can get your own tour on your phone. So It's helpful, it's helpful. because they don't do guided tours anymore because of well, COVID. Yeah, because of COVID. They used to do guided tours of the house and now they take you into the, the main bit that you've, that you've seen already and they give you a little talk about the main entranceway. It's like six to seven feet high, the artist of the ceiling, and then they let you explore. But if you want some more guided information, then you can scan that barcode. Wow, that well, was thanks great. Thanks for watching. That was really cool. A real insight into what Blair Palace is. I know. I came here knowing nothing, and now I feel like I've left knowing, well, not everything, but a lot of things. And a it, lot I feel more. like there's so much history here, and it's been an, a, it's been a wonderful afternoon. It just makes everything more real, doesn't it? And like we know about Winston Churchill, but we don't know. We, I feel like we've gotten to know him more because. Yeah. Of the exhibition particularly yeah i love that i yeah. love that he has a cigar after breakfast yeah good amazing. for him good for
for him. Good, Good for, for you, him, Winston. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. We post videos every, every trip. so often. Every, every trip. So <laughs> We're also on Instagram if you want to go and follow us at those two Brits. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, Take see you care. Soon. Bye. Bye.